Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. So I have prepared some questions. Before we go through those questions, let us understand few important terms. For this, you have to be on the page Explore Automation Development with UAP Studio. So this is the topic from Academy. And here you have something called Glossary and Terms and Abbreviations. Okay. So this is the one which I'm going to focus. And on this one, I'm going to frame questions and you test your knowledge how much you are, how many questions you got right. Let's get started. So studio. So what is your understanding by the studio? The component of UiPath RPA platform for developing robotic process automation project. So all of you must be aware what is a studio and how to open that. So this is the UiPath studio. And from here, you know, you can build your automation projects. You can develop your automation projects. So the key word to remember is developing. Great. Now, what is studio family? Now, studio family consists of three important products. One is studio web, studio X and studio using which you can again develop the robotic process automation projects. Now, studio, you know, now what is studio X? For you as an automation developer, you should not be using studio X. This is for business users. You have to use studio. Now, if you're interested to know about studio X, all you do go to settings. Go to uh, license and profile and here there is something called change profile. Click on this and if you click on the studio X, it will automatically turn your studio into studio X profile. The profile will change. This is actually for the business users. Okay. And now next thing is studio web. How do you open studio web? Log into cloud.uapper.com. Click on this symbol. And here there is something called studio. So if you click on this, this is what you would open. And this is the studio web, the studio that you, that you can access on the browser and do your development. So these are the three things you must be aware. Great. Let's move on to our next one, robot. So what is a robot? The robot is a UiPath execution agent installed on machine. And enabling you to run automation job, jobs based on processes developed in the studio. So it is an execution agent. Now just to show you, let me open the task manager. And here if you search UiPath, you would see UiPath executor. One is 32 bit, another is 64 bit. So UiPath executor, it is an agent which runs in the background to execute your automation. So this is the robot. Okay, great. Attended robot. You know it, you need a, you know, a type of robot working on the same machine as the humans. Okay. Unattended robot, a robot typically deployed on separate machine than any human uses. So all of these definitions we have already covered. Otherwise you can go through this. Okay. Assistant, the interface between human user and the attended robot. UiPath assistant is generally used for the attended automation, right? It is the interface between human user and attended robot. So, so let's see that. So this is the UiPath assistant and whatever the automations I have, I can start from the UiPath assistant. So interface between human user and the attended robot. Great. Orchestrator. Orchestrator, you must have already seen it. This is the orchestrator. This is how you open it. Okay, we'll just get a quick glimpse of everything. Automation cloud. So if you see, cloud.uipath.com. This is the automation cloud. So here you have multiple product. Orchestrator is one of the product. You have insights, studio, apps, integration service, like that. There are so many different products. AI center, test manager. Clear? Automation cloud. Automation project. Right? You develop the project in the UAPA studio. What is a package? So this one is more important. What is a package you need to understand? So let me go back in the studio. Let's say this is one of the project I have developed. Now, when you hit on publish and hit on next here, there's a name here. For example, you can upload this package to orchestrator. You can also download it to your own laptop. So here I'm seeing custom and here I've given the downloads path. You can provide any path. Now you, when you hit on publish, you can see it got published. Now, if you go to this location, 
Now once I am in the download location, you can see a new PKG. This is called new get package. This entire automation is now downloaded as dot new PKG called new get package. Okay, so this must be understood. New get a new GET package or new get package from the studio family. Okay, this is called a package and a process. What is a process? When you go to orchestrator, go to any folder, automation and processes. The process that you have created right after uploading the package to orchestrator here you would find them these are the processes jobs when you run it you know it becomes a job so here are the definitions that you must go through a package in orchestrator linked to an orchestrator folder where human users or robots have access if stored locally packages can be used as a process when they run by attended robot jobs means a single execution of an automation process by an attended or unattended robot so these are the definition of all of this you must be aware so we have gone very quickly through the glossary now let's face some of the question and see how we perform are you ready let's get started all right so i have the questions ready from the glossary section let's see how we perform and for every question you need to comment your answer in the comment section of the video let's see the very first question what is the primary purpose of uapa studio okay here are your option developing robotic process automation projects monitoring jobs and robots distributing automation licenses running automations independently i'll give you some time think and comment your right answer Hopefully you have commented your answer either it's a b c or d what do you think let me reveal the answer the answer is developing robotic process automation projects that is the primary purpose of studio let's move on to our next question what are the component of studio family and in the uipath business automation platform what are the components of studio family remember this word orchestrator robot and assistant Studio Web Studio X Studio, Integration Service Data Service AI Center, UiPath Apps Assistant and AI Center. Now this is a pretty easy one. Take your time. Let me reveal the answer. The answer is B. Okay. Let's move on to our next question. What is the primary function of UiPath Assistant? Here are your options. developing robotic process automation project monitoring unattended robots acting as the interface between human user and the attended robot managing automation licenses now comment your answer take your time comment your answer in the comment section of the video let me reveal the answer the answer is c let's move on to next question what is a package in the context of the uipath platform what is a package a set of licenses for automation projects a monitoring tool for unattended robot an interface for human users to interact with robot an automation project published as a new get package from the studio family now take your time comment your answer comment your answer in the comment section take your time let me reveal the answer the answer is d i hope you must have got all this question you know you must have got the correct answer please do comment you know how many of these questions you are able to answer it correctly if you have achieved all the questions right it's great okay so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic